Boom, shakalaka. What's up, everybody? I uh, got another show here for you today, The Wrestling Word. And I've been putting this one off uh, for a little bit. I've had it. Um, had everything in store for it, but I was waiting on another box um, that is, was shipped out on the 5th of um, January. And today is the 19th as we're recording this, and it was shipped out from California, so of course it's going to take a while, but, man, I just got to say, and, you know, I, I'm just going to throw this out there, I got to do a little vent here, hopefully it'll come in, I don't know, it has been, um, this is a package from Pro Wrestling Loot, which was a 2024 um, box that they put out, it was a really good deal, so shout out to them, they've been putting out really good deals here lately. Uh, they've not put any spoilers for their February box, and, and with them, I like them, um, and if I had the extra funds, I would I would get more of their boxes, but honestly, they're kind of hit or miss sometimes, and without giving any indication on who you're going to get, um, I don't know, it's just a tough sale for me, especially without some kind of knowledge of who's at least going to be in it, so... Um, but they'd sent a box out on February the, or I'm sorry, January the 5th, and it's been in Kodak, Tennessee, and we, we have been under a snowstorm, uh, so maybe that's the big holdup, but I gotta say, man, they sent through FedEx, and, you know, I worked for the USPS, uh, twice, and, um, you know, I know how fast they are, so I know not everyone can be like the Postal Service, right, because, I don't know about y'all's experience, but generally mine with the Postal Service is good. Uh, stuff gets here quick. Even with UPS, stuff normally gets here pretty quick. But with FedEx, there's always a huge delay, no matter where it's come from. I just, man, I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. I don't know what the problem is. If you work for FedEx, I'm sorry. This ain't geared at you. This is just a company. Like, come on, man. You know? Come on. I don't know. I don't get it. But, I mean, that's been, you know, two, what is it? Almost two weeks. And uh, it's been a while. And you just, I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, getting the angle right there. It just always, always takes forever with FedEx. I don't know what the issue is. But anyway, we're going to get into it. Uh, we got uh, we do have a crate here that I was kind of holding out on. I was going to put them both together. But now I see that my pro wrestling crate's on the way, too. It'll probably get here about the same time, maybe even before pro wrestling loot box does. Come on, pro wrestling, pro wrestling loot. Just please, y'all, stop using FedEx. They're terrible, especially out here. I don't know. I don't know. They're just, they're just terrible. Um, but I, I did get some new stuff. I do have a crate here that I'm going to open for you. Not a whole lot to talk about today. Um, still playing catch up on a lot of wrestling. Um, yeah. Uh, Royal Rumble's next week. That's exciting. I'm wondering more and more if uh, Cody Rhodes is going to get a second year at the Rumble, which I think is kind of a bad choice. Um, Cody just don't do a lot for me, man. He he don't. I mean, he seems like a nice guy and all. Um, but I don't know. I I think Cody could could really benefit from a heel turn. Maybe it's just because he's got these good looks that I don't know. It's like, man, this this dude is just you know, like he could be like a monster villain. And when I say monster, I mean like, <clears throat> I'm better than you. Kind of like MJF, right? But like in more along the, uh, <clears throat> you know, I've got the, the, the bloodline, no pun, uh, of, of the Rhodes family in me. So that makes me automatically on a different level. I got the looks, I'm automatically on a different level. Something like that, like an old school gimmick of that type. Like a narcissist gimmick, almost. I always thought, you know, one thing with Cody that was so confusing to me, and, 
you know, I didn't really mean to talk about Cody Rhodes, but there's just been these rumblings of, no pun intended again, of him winning the Royal Rumble. And uh, I don't know, man, like, the American Nightmare, right? That That's a silly name, in my opinion. If you're a good guy and your dad was the American Dream, if you're going to be the American Nightmare... It almost sounds like you should be like a like a monsterish in the literal sense villain, the American Nightmare. I don't know. I think he could definitely be the American something, but should it have been Nightmare, especially if he's a good guy. No, I don't think so. I've, I've never. But when he was dashing Cody Rhodes, it's good stuff. Coming out putting bags on people's heads, you know. The Intercontinental title. He was killing it, man. Uh, even with Legacy, that was a good build-up for him and, and and Ted DiBiase Jr. Wild stuff with that family, right? But that's my opinion. I, I think, you know, it, they're kind of teasing it a lot. They're bringing it up. Well, what if he wins the Rumble? You know, this has only been done the last time, I think, it was with Stone Cold. So, I don't know. Uh, you know, is The Rock going to come back? to avenge and, and fight Roman and be the head of the table. Is CM Punk going to to, to win the Rumble? And now, what about the, the latest thing is Seth Rollins is hurt. It was it a torn MCL or meniscus, partial tear? I don't know. Um, that throws a curveball in there. So that's really about all I got to say on that, I would say. Um haven't watched much other wrestling. Started watching a little bit of AEW, catching up with that, but that's been about it. So let's get into it here. We got a few things. Did a little shopping since the last time. I'm just going to go through them uh, one by one. Well, I'm going to show you the figure first. Oh, I'll show you the figure first here. Sorry, guys. Figure first. Check them out. Captain Lou Albano. This guy brings back some good childhood memories. Again, with the Superstars line, I love it. It is partially punched there at the top, uh, but it's still intact. Often imitated, but never duplicated. I'm Captain Lou, and I'm talking to you. I'm a legend in my own mind. That sounds like sun. A travel in my own mind, man. Captain Lou Albano uh, is with the head shrinkers. Includes fabric gear. Look at his little shoes there, little white shoes. Uh, looks a lot like Mick Foley, especially in that shirt. He's got his Captain Lou shirt on. Oh, man, this guy was cool back in the day. Uh, my one and only Captain Lou Albano figure. There was a Vader that was close to him, but the Vader's package was all messed up. And I got, and this one I didn't realize down at the bottom. It's got some, but the Vader's was pretty bad. I've got a few Vader's now, so... So he goes hand-in-hand hand with the Roddy Piper back there. You can barely see in the corner. Let's see if you can. Back there's Roddy. So again, the Superstars line. The Hogan is what's missing, though. The old school Hogan. I like it. I went to GameStop, y'all. And I have not been to GameStop in a hot minute. Ugh! And uh, renewed the pro membership. It was probably... Uh, oh, man. Hangman page shirt on. It was probably a bad call. Because I got a few. I did get a few. And something about GameStop that's a little weird. Uh, their exclusive Funko Pops. I got These are Funko Pops. Their exclusive ones cost more. Like a couple more dollars. Which I, I never knew. Uh, but we're going to start out with... I had to have this one. I know I've got several. Y'all know I love the old school guys. Look at this Ultimate Warrior here. Ain't that a cool package? The golden black. It's the Hall of Fame box. I like this packaging. Now, this was a GameStop exclusive too, but they didn't charge more on him. That's odd. Huh. But they did charge more on another one I got from there. And I'm going to show you him. But this one, you can see the back there. Very, very cool. The Ultimate Warrior. And it's got his... Uh, what is that? It's got like his... Uh, what would this be called, Joy? Right here. Joy and Gladdy just come in. Like a little, not a statue, but like a, a plaque. I think it's a plaque. It's got the gold plaque in there. 
I love the color scheme of that Ultimate Warrior, the orange and green. That is classic Warrior. Right there, the pink on the chest. I love that. So then we also got... All the old school guys. Look at the British Bulldog there. Ain't that cool. That's the British Bulldog's first pop. Right there. That's a beaut. The British Bulldog and his classic um, Wembley. I think that was Wembley, right? 1991 SummerSlam against Brett the Hitman. Was it 91 or 92? I think it was 92. I should know that, but this is gear. Come out with Matilda the dog. Back in the day, the Bulldog, Matilda. Ayla, British Bulldog. Ayla. Ayla. Uh-oh. I dented it a little bit there. So this is the one that actually cost $2 more, which was weird. Um, the Big Boss Man. This is also his first pop. GameStop exclusive on him as well. He's got the nightstick. Ready to defend Cobb County, Georgia by any means necessary, baby. I love the old school guys. That's a given. The guys I grew up with. And there's a big boss man. I went a little wild at GameStop, but... You only live once, right, Joy? I still got the receipt. Take some back. To, probably going to hang on to the WWE, though. But I got some McDonald's pops. Little chicken nugget guys. I mean. So then I saw this. Just wanted to show this out to y'all. Uh, the store uh, Bargain Hunt. I see a lot of that in the, uh, in the uh, groups. A lot of people going to Bargain Hunt. Well, if you go, and I don't know where these were at. This is compared to $7.99. They have these little figures right here. And they almost look like the um, the loyal subjects, so they are. That is the loyal subjects. I guess this is just a newer, I don't know, newer release. But they got 13 points of articulation. They got the collector cards. Oh, it's okay, Clyde. Stone Cold. There's two rocks. There's an Andre, a Hulkster, Hulkster, Andre, Rock, and Nature Boy. If I end up getting another one of these the next time I'm down there, I open this one. I should have saved it for the show here. Um, but I'm just going to show you who I got anyway. I was pretty happy. Little uh, collector card. There's the collector card. Collect them all. I'm not going to tease. I'm not going to show you who was in here. But the coolest thing about these, not, maybe not the coolest thing, but the thing I liked about them, Quite a bit, and now it's stuck. All right. If you're snowed in, where you guys are at, hope y'all are staying warm. And if you see somebody out, animal, whoever, you know, a fellow person, <laughs> for lack of a better term, keep everybody else warm if you can. Help somebody out, man. Look out for your fellow peeps. They come with this title. Look at this. Look at that title. I know y'all are going to go crazy about that title. Look at that. That's cool. Let's see if I can get a good display on it. Uh, I don't... It's a pretty small title, and it barely fits around the guy, but check him out. We got a rock. We got the bald rock. This is the later stage rock after the Scorpion King. But these things are cool, man, because look at that. The articulation on them. They got even the elite body style. Five bucks. I know that's a lot for a little guy, but perfect figure to sit up on your desk at work and jam out with while you're on your computer. So now the main event. All elite crate. This thing feels stacked. I have no idea what's in this. I don't I think Sky Blue was in it. That sounds like a name that I'm remembering. Uh, is she the autograph? I don't know, but I remember her name being in this one. Um, I've not seen any spoilers. I've not seen anybody open this. I've not really looked hard on YouTube. 
uh, lately, so usually I'll get spoiled somewhere or another. But here we go. We're going to open it up, dive in, see what we got. Highly sought after. And okay, never mind. I thought there was maybe a Blu ray in here, but I think that's the pro wrestling crate. Okay, a spoiler card. We'll look at that later. Here we go. The main event time. It's a gray one. Is that Edge? That's Edge, isn't it? Wow. Rated R Superstar. Copeland. Since 92. That's a cool shirt, man. I have an Edge shirt. I got one Edge shirt from back in the day. This is uh, Edge now. And the graphics on it are pretty sweet. Look at that. It's got the skull. Almost looks like a... I almost thought it was a CM Punk style shirt. But it is Adam Copeland, a.k.a. Edge... The Rated R Superstar. That is cool. That is a nice shirt. I dig that. That's all right. That's cool. It's going right for the other one. I just do it as they come. Here we go, Mama. Who is it? Is this FTR? A new FTR shirt. That is cool. Living Legends. I've got an FTR shirt that I love. Right now, like the old school, like Dark Side of the Moon. But I may have to hang on to that one anyway, because that one's just cool, man. Love the color scheme. Living Legends. I don't know, do you really need two FTR shirts? I mean, this one's pretty cool, though. It looks kind of like 80s. Yep. Old school. Old school. Two shirts. Thumbs up. Good shirts. All right. Here's the pen. What we got for the pen? He's our scumbag. That is MJF. How do y'all feel about him being a good guy? I haven't watched AEW really in a while, but Adam Cole, the devil, has been the bad guy all along. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I'll have to give more details once I get there and get caught up. All right. Micro Brawlers next. Let's get it. Oh, Luchasaurus. That is a cool micro brawler. That is all right. He looks creepy, man. With the all black. Well, he's from the tar pits. Luchasaurus. That's cool. Good deal. So now with the pro wrestling crate after this month, they're going to do them only every two months, but you get two micro brawlers in the box, which is uh, should be pretty cool, especially if you're into collectibles. I have so much collectible stuff, though. You know, probably too much, I'm sure Joy would say. But what's this? This feels... It's scissors! <laughs> It is scissors. I was going to say, this feels like a knife. It's the acclaimed official scissors. We always need... Who doesn't need a pair of scissors? You know? See how they work, man. We're going to open them because we've only got a couple pairs of scissors around this house. I don't think this is really the scissoring that they mean when they talk about um, scissoring. But look at that. Good pair of scissors there. They don't feel cheap. I just wanted to see if they smelled new, you know. Weird. Got a weird thing about smells that y'all can... Clyde's interested in them. These felt good, Mama. Does it have like a graphic or anything on it or is it just pink scissors? No, on the... Uh, on the scissors themselves it says the acclaimed right there. Oh, on the metal part? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yep. Pink scissors. Who don't need some pink scissors, man? See? You know? Come on. I mean, that's a functional piece that we could, you know, actually use around the house instead of, you know. Instead of more toys that collect dust. Yeah. All right. What's this? We got a patch, and of course, it's a Danhausen patch. <laughs> These people really love Danhausen, I tell you. They really, really, really do. 
So if y'all are interested, because I don't like the pins that much. I mean, I I can only put them on a guitar strap and then I'm done with them. Can't really, I mean, if y'all want to get a good combination deal here, MJF, Pin, and Danhausen patch. I do like patches. Even though they don't stay on the jackets we try them on, but here feels this feels like a this feels like pencils. We may have another functional item here, Mama. Property of Sanjay Dutt. Sanjay Dutt pencil set. Uh well. Um I mean, it is a functional thing. It's just, you know, would you ever need a Sanjay Dutt pencil set? I didn't know Sanjay was in this box. <laughs> but hey, I mean, look at this, man. Come on. It's like a school supply. What box. a back to school set we got going on here. Pencils, scissors. All right. I feel. Here's a poster. Of course, we got a poster. Let's see if it's one we'll actually hang on to. It's got to have some good people on it. Oh, and I believe it does. MJF, Brian Danielson, 60-minute Iron Man match. Who will stand tall? Who will fall? And this is from uh, last year, Revolution. That's cool. I like both of those guys. Normally on the posters, I only like one. And it's just not worth hanging up. But that one, I'll hang on to. Not bad. All right. This feels like another flag. I believe it is. Um, we're going to wait and see. I can't tell who that is, but we'll wait and see here. Is that all we got? Yep. So you know what that means. The person I mentioned earlier has to be the autograph. The only person I mentioned that I remembered from this box. I think she's in it. She is. Sky Blue. There you go. Have you ever seen Sky Blue wrestle? Yeah, she's pretty good. Yeah, well, she's getting there. She's a uh, bad girl now, I guess. She put her little heart there. They like the women wrestler autographs in these boxes. But, I mean, that's okay. Um, they seem She seems like she's going to do some stuff in wrestling. So, uh, happy to get her autograph. That's all right. I'll take it, man. Add it to the... Uh, Joyce says, what do you do with the autographs? And I said, well, maybe you put them in a binder. You pass them on to your children, and you hope they think they cool, they're they cool. And if they don't, then you hope they make a lot of money selling them. That's about all you can do. Now let's see who the, is in the flag. All right, Clyde, we're almost done here, buddy. Oh, we're getting close. 